My person is Thomas Mifflin, and he is the fifth president of the Continental Congress. Thomas Mifflin was born in Philadelphia, PA in 1744. Then he went to Europe from 1764 to 1765 to learn more about politics. Later on, in 1776, he became an aide-de-camp to George Washington in New York. Then in 1782, he went to Annapolis, Maryland and became the president of the Continental Congress. Then in 1787, he signed the United States Constitution in Philadelphia, PA. Later in life, he suppressed the Whiskey Rebellion in Pittsburgh. In 1800, he died in Lancaster, PA. Thomas Mifflin's views on Indians were that they really didn't bother him in his life, so he didn't have to worry about them affecting his life. Thomas Mifflin's biggest triumphs were signing the Constitution, served as president of the Continental Congress, also appointed as major in the Continental Army, and becoming an aide-de-camp to Washington. Lastly, he became a colonial. Thomas Mifflin's biggest ally was George Washington because Mifflin became an, his aide-de-camp, then Washington appointed him to become the Army's first quartermaster general under the Order of Congress. His biggest failures and embarrassments were being expelled from his Quaker faith. As quartermaster general, he abandoned most of his duties because he wanted to do work on the front lines, and it was partly his fault for the miseries in Valley Forge. I think Thomas Mifflin's biggest challenge was trying to be a Quaker and being involved in the war at the same time, but this did not work out when he tried to raise troops in 1775 and later got a higher appointment of a major. His status changed in his life because when he was born, he was wealthy and a Quaker, but when he died, he was very poor and the government had to pay for his grave and he was buried at a Lutheran church. On a scale of 1 to 5, I give this person a 3 because he signed the United States Constitution and wrote many political speeches throughout his career.